Thanks for joining us. I'm Lee Martin with the WBZ News Update. Our top stories. Police are expanding their search today for 35-year-old Brittany T from a two-mile radius to three miles after she's been missing for more than a week now. Investigators say she left her Brookfield home on foot and they're asking neighbors and local hunters to check their properties and their cameras. Police say she was last seen wearing a black coat, work boots and jeans. Anyone with information is asked to contact Brookfield police. Two teenagers are charged with a stabbing near the common. It happened around 730 Sunday night on Tremont Street in Boston. Police say the 17 and 13 year olds attacked someone and then ran from the scene. Police caught them boarding a bus and recovered a pocket knife. The victim is expected to survive. A popular grocery store near Lake Winnipesaukee goes up in flames. This is drone video firefighters battling the flames last night at the Hunters Shop and Save on South Main Street in Wolfboro, New Hampshire. Residents there say the store is a staple of the community. Right now it's unclear what caused the fire or how much damage there is. Let's get a check of your next weather forecast now with meteorologist Zach Green. Hey Zach. Good morning Liam. A very chilly start to the day, but nonetheless it won't take long to get back into the mild air. We're starting off near the freezing mark, so some icy patches are still going to be available before we melt things with the mid to upper 40s right around lunchtime. And we will continue to thaw out any of the snow that was available from Sunday night into Monday as we approach 50 degrees in a few isolated areas. The clouds will continuously increase as we make our way through the afternoon. And there's a little spell of showers that may arrive overnight. So some damp spots as we wake up on Wednesday morning, but otherwise pretty quiet 48 hour window. Then we'll turn the corner. We'll get back into the rain chances, mainly rain as we move into Thursday afternoon. But there may be some wintry weather at the onset of this system to the north of the pike in southern New Hampshire as well. Once we make our way farther into Friday morning, we're still looking at mainly rain for coastal Massachusetts, but on the back side of the system, we'll try to drag down and wrap in another quick chance of cold air, flipping us into the wintry potential once again. So the northern side of the state moving up into the Granite State, this is going to be your best bet to see at least some moderate accumulation. Higher values are expected up in the ski country, really low conditions around town and anyone to the south and east of the Boston to Worcester line. Temperatures will get back to season the averages once we move into the weekend, Liam, and we'll wipe the slate clean. Mid to upper 30s on Saturday, 40s on Sunday. All right, thank you, Zach. I'm Liam Martin. This has been a WBZ News Update. Have a great day, everybody.